Toriko Kashi is your typical perfect student, but she's got a past she'd rather keep hidden. On her way to school, she spots something bizarre, a girl hanging from power lines with deer antlers. The girl Noko guilt trips Torako into helping her down and even hints that she knows about Torako's delinquent days. Later that morning, Noko makes a chaotic entrance as the new transfer student, literally breaking down the classroom door. She takes a seat next to Torako and starts teasing her about being a former delinquent, and to make things worse, calls her out as a virgin in front of the whole class. Torako quickly shuts her up. After school, Torako checks out an old shed on campus and finds Noko there, injured from a fall. Instead of ignoring her, Torako decides to help clean up the shed. Their teacher, Yukai, shows up, and Noko casually reveals she got permission to use the shed for her new deer club, somehow roping Torako into being the president. The day wraps up with a strange vibe as another girl watches them from the school gate, clearly not happy about what's going on. Torako heads to school early in the morning to decorate the new club room. Although she isn't very enthused with being the deer club's president, she is overjoyed with the club room's renovations. After attending class, she heads to the club room only to find it vandalized and with Noko as the only witness assuming she was the vandal. Noko corrects her and airs that another person may be responsible, what's targeting her. Noko is lured into a trap, and the culprit reveals herself to be Torako's sister Anko. Anko takes offense on Noko stealing Torako's attention and challenges her to a fight where Noko has to leave the school if Anko wins, but if Noko wins, she will receive lots of deer crackers. Noko agrees, and the two later participate in a game show-styled trivia competition with intimate details about Torako in question, much to her embarrassment. Frustrated with the close match, Anko launches numerous kunai towards Noko, but Noko dodges them with ease. Anko throws another kunai towards her, but she trips, and it heads in the direction of Torako. Noko jumps in its way, and is hit. After a scene in Deer Heaven that creates the illusion she has died, Noko gets up and reveals that she was saved by a deer cracker in her pocket. Impressed with Noko saving her beloved sister, Anko yields, and the two become friends. In this episode's first story, Torako finds a deer in the deer club and assumes that it is Noko. She tries many attempts to turn her back, to no avail. However, when Noko suddenly arrives, she realizes that the deer is an ordinary deer that escaped from Hino Zood as it won in some of the deer crackers. Afterwards, the deer, who was named Sudota, returns to the zoo. In the second story, when Spring arrives, new students enroll in the school, including Anko. Torako and Noko later find a girl sleeping in front of the deer club, who introduces herself as Mema and wants to be a deer like Noko after she saved her life earlier when she was suffering from starvation. As a result, Mema joins the club. Anko also joins the club much later and begins expressing jealously towards Mema, but the misunderstanding is soon cleared up. After seeing how lazy the club members are, Torako tries to lay down some rules, which at one point leads Noko to threaten to leave and ruin Torako's reputation if she does not treat them with more respect. As a result, Torako ends up brushing all three of them while a group of girls are spying on them. Torako has a meeting in the student council room with its members, the scheming Neko Nekoyamata who plans to disband the Deer Club and overthrow Torako as the council's president, the anxious Kinu Tanuki Koji, and the stoic Chiharu Tsubonia. Neko has Chiharu talk to Torako in hopes of exposing her weakness, but at the end of the day, Neko forgets to deal with the Deer Club. Torako finds Chiharu in the Deer Club and desperately tries to hide her past from Chiharu, but Noko ends up getting Chiharu's attention as Torako unsuccessfully tries to regain it. After Chiharu returns home, it is revealed that she is secretly a big fan of Noko. While Torako is doing an errand with Kinu, they accidentally get locked in the storage room. Torako sees Noko through the window but cannot get her attention as she breaks into a musical number. Fearing that they will never be rescued, Kinu hides in the vaulting box. Miraculously, Noko then opens the door, revealing that she has been secretly growing mushrooms in the vaulting box, but at first accuses Kinu of trying to steal them after finding her inside. The Deer Club later have a meal alongside Kinu and Sharu. Meanwhile, Neko is left all alone in the student council room, wondering why the others didn't come. There are three different stories for this episode. In the first story, Torako finds a letter in her locker. Noko then appears behind her, it turns out she sleeps while rolling. Noko also claims that she has been fighting a hunting society, though Torako doesn't believe her. The letter is believed to be a love letter, though Noko herself is upset that she didn't get one. However, it is really a note demanding a challenge. Torako confronts a group of delinquent girls who sent the letter with Noko accompanying her. During the fight, Torako is overwhelmed, but Noko hands her one of her antlers, which Torako throws onto the gym's roof after deeming it useless. 
but the antler explodes, destroying the gym and sending everyone flying. In the second story, Torako decides to spy on Noko to see if she has a weakness, but only witnesses her doing nothing and eating bananas that she hides inside her antlers. Following her to the zoo, she discovers that Noko lives in the deer exhibit and observes her strange antics with the deer and the visitors. After she notices Torako, they spend the day with each other before parting ways. For the final story, Neko makes an attempt to destroy the deer club, but is caught by Noko, who tries to make her to join the club. But she declines. However, she quickly changes her mind just so she can figure out who is in charge of the club. After spending the day at the club, she is unable to find any weaknesses. The episode begins with 18 shorts. Noko tries to bend a spoon, but fails. Noko provides some coffee made in her head to Torako, but the latter quickly declines. Torako goes through bills that she has to pay for the deer club and Noko helps by selling one of her antlers. Noko winks and bends her antlers. While on the computer, Noko finds information on cats and little information on deer. Noko creates a new body pillow and new t-shirt. Noko approaches Torako dressed like a god and gives her a gaming antler. Torako has trouble drinking her bubble milk tea and finds the straw is actually one of Noko's antlers. Anko shows Torako her new school uniform, which turns out to be Torako's. Noko provides toppings for Mena's rice. Anko and Noko present new antler-based products, which Neko watches. Shiharu buys the antler products and shows them to Kinu to Neko's shock. Neko wonders what antler-based products will be made in the future. Torako encounters a cat and wind, making Noko and Mema jealous respectively. Anko brings Torako tea and snacks while she is busy with her studies. Tsunoda returns to the club and is greeted by Mema and Noko. The Deer Club starts a band to Torako's dismay. For the main story, when summer comes, Torako and Anko talk about Torako's new uniform. At the Deer Club, the group sees spots on Noko and believe that she is undergoing a disease caused by contaminated rice. Although Noko considers leaving, she quickly returns with Tsunoda, who also has spots. It turns out she's not sick and is actually molting. Memo gets the idea to use her old skins as uniforms. Neko later makes another plan to take down the Deer Club with Chiharu and Kinu, who don't want to but their meeting is interrupted by Noko, who shows them a wrapped ball-like creature with moving antlers that she found buried in the school grounds. Chiharu names it Tsuchi and the group later feed it chocks. Noko bonds with it just as Torako arrives. While visiting the Deer Club, Noko receives a message from a deer. She announces to the rest of the club members of her plan to enter an event called Deer Collection 2024, or Deer Call for short, which is a competition involving deer. Torako doesn't want to take part in this, but learns that the other members have already signed her up for it, and that the prizes that they win are fortunate, making her reconsider. However, she and Noko must have a strong bond in order to win, so Torako starts training and ends up embarrassing herself when Yukai sees her performing. Ending the first story reveals that the winners are Tsunio from Nara Park and Mr. Tanabe. In the second story, while Torako is alone with Noko, she begins streaming what has been going on in the Deer Club per suggested by Yukai, though Noko complicates things when she sticks antlers on her, scratches her antlers against the wall, and her antlers begin growing at rapid speed in the form of tentacles after she eats deer crackers. When they grow far too big, Torako had no choice but to cut them off. The video proves to be an embarrassment to her, especially when she discovers that Anko and Meme were watching as it goes viral. In the final story, cafe owner Yumashiharu Tsubamiya, Shiharu's older brother, is busy working just as Torako and Noko arrive. Yoshiharu is surprised by Noko's appearance, but also recalls her sister buying deer products earlier. He nevertheless provides them with a table. Noko's unusual behavior both scares and makes things harder for Yoshiharu, and he ends up failing to provide proper hospitality for Noko but Noko convinces him otherwise. In turn, he decides to be prepared for their next visit. At the deer shrine of Hino, Torako, Anko, and Meme are waiting for Noko, but decide to go without her when she doesn't show up. Upon attending the ceremony, Torako is shocked to see that Noko is taking part of it as the deer goddess, but no one else notices while Noko herself denies being Noko. Torako then meets a shrine maid named Mitsu Inkukai, who forces her to behave when she speaks up. After selecting a fortune, she is surprised to see that it is called Great Antler before meeting up with the student council, who are also taking part in the event. As Torako confronts Noko over her actions, she tells Torako about antler soup and how it was made as the burning ritual, which involves burning antlers, begins causing Noko to glow. After the ceremony ends, Torako is left traumatized just as Noko arrives and does not recall the recent events at the shrine, but Torako sees through her bluff after she shares antler soup with them. When New Year comes, Noko and Torako begin an introduction for the second story. 
at the Deer Club, Noko, Tarako, and Anko are busy playing a deer-based board game. Fantasy scenes occur throughout turns that show the characters with antlers and the board game shown realistically. Tarako becomes confused and shocked by the game's events, but nevertheless enjoys it. They then see Mema choking on mochi, but she manages to eat it regardless. Noko's antlers are shown to have grown larger during the game. Spring comes and the sports festival is tomorrow. Tarako has already made plans for it when Neko and several other students arrive and inform her of various emergencies. Being too much work for her, she requests the rest of the Deer Club to help. After dealing with these problems, the sports festival begins, but Noko's antics prove to be a bother to Torako. During the first race, Yoshiharu struggles with the obstacles, which requires eating both edible and inedible stuff. Mitsu ends up winning. Torako takes part in the next race, which involves carrying antler bombs. The third event involves digging holes. The fourth event involves the deer club, with Noko bringing in deer from the zoo to Torako's dismay. The fifth event involves a tug of war using Noko's antlers as the rope. Noko is deemed the winner of the event, upsetting Torako. The sixth event involves tossing balls into baskets, but Torako begins to suffer from the ordeal and Neko has to save Tsuchi after he gets caught in the middle of the event. The last event is put on hold due to the deer occupying the field, but Torako is able to get them to move using Noko's deer crackers before letting her anger out on Noko for her antics, but also revealing her true colors in front of the whole school. However, they continue to accept her regardless. The festival eventually ends three hours later. That was all for today. Thanks for watching and see you later.